Hey, Calvary by the Sea and friends, summer blessings to you wherever you are. This is Pastor Moses Barrios or Moises Barrios and my pronouns he and el. It is good to be with you this way. Listen, I just got back from some much needed vacation, some much needed rest, and uh, it was beautiful. It was good. I can, you know, take these deep breaths and just feel like I'm loved, like the divine is for me and that God is happy with me. So it is good to be back in Hawaii, ready to do ministry, ready to start a new sermon series. And that's why I'm here. I, I'm coming to invite you to our new sermon series that starts this Sunday, July 7th. Now, the cool thing about this series is that it'll be for July, August, and September. And we're going to be talking about something really interesting to me. And I hope it's interesting to you. And it's all around liberation theology. Now, you may ask me, what is liberation theology? And to me, it's simply a gospel call. It's simply a, a love call, shall we say, that engages us with political, social, and economic uh, oppression and how perhaps we can gain awareness, how we can uh, get well informed about these sinful oppressions in our country and in our world and how to perhaps uh, begin to heal and restore and reclaim these uh, these structures uh, so they can be just, so they can be full of justice and peace and shalom and healing and reconciliation. So um, this particular first month of July will be focused on economic uh, liberation, shall we say, uh, being uh, liberated from the oppressive things of economics like like this idea of the American dream and you know the rat race of continuously uh, trying to find freedom from the present economic uh, expectations and the economic struggles and so in a time such as this I, I, I feel like it's, it's it should be a time where we can have these conversations and so the liturgy and Sunday worship is going to be a little bit different than usual um, we will have a, 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 a teaching, preaching moment. And then after that, we're going to have 10 minutes where you get to just uh, dialogue about what the divine is saying and what you're sensing as you're hearing um, these, uh, these, this wisdom, these wisdoms that help us to process economic liberation. Um, well, it'll be a three-part kind of uh, series and I have my notes here so I, I, I'm going to just quickly go over the three parts but there'll be kind of a section about um, working the way that you work uh, in, in your way right because everybody has a way of working and so um, doing that as a way to become liberated another one is to also work smarter uh, you know and that's an important thing I think for for many of us and then lastly to work inspired. So um, really about this idea of, of what it means to be uh, someone who um, has, uh, who's part of an, 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 and by the way, let me just say, this is like a big deal, right? Um, I've been away, but I heard a little bit about economic uh, uh, liberation and economic oppression as one of the major themes uh, in our political um, conversation and dialogue and rhetoric. So I wonder, uh, could this season of, of, of three weeks focusing on uh, economic liberation, could it be um, something that could be meaningful for us? So if you're kind of like, yes, I want to talk more about what it means to be a, a better uh, employee, a better person who, who uses their uh, their career and their work and their job as not necessarily something that will, um, you know, make them or, or break them, but, but perhaps something that is used in a much more um, uh, equitable way, in a much more just way, in a much more liberating way. So if you're interested, come 
We start this Sunday, July 7th, 14 and 21, to talk about economic liberation. And then we'll take one week break on the 28th when our students return from New Orleans and they'll be sharing their stories and we'll be able to engage with them. Also, July 14th and July 28th, we will have our band back. So all the guys, you know, Alika, Jason, and, and Scott, and, and Keith will have them back, Peter, and, and lead us in music and worship. So you don't want to miss that as well. Then in August, we will turn towards um, socioeconomic or social liberation. And we'll talk a little bit about certain books that we've been reading um, the Religion of Whiteness by Michael Emerson is a book that I recommend you maybe perhaps find and, and we can talk more about that if you have more questions about that. But we'll be talking about the mistreatment and the unfair treatment of uh, people of color, but also all those groups who have been oppressed uh, for many different reasons. Um, and so we'll be talking about how to create systems that uh, will enable us to um, be better uh, stewards of our relationships with one another, um, getting away from ableism and, and ageism and classism and racism and sexism and white supremacy, all these things, right? So this liberation theology, again, that will help us uh, to become free, to become liberated from all of these social oppressions. And it will be a, a journey for many of us. And I understand that. And that's good because not necessarily will we find all the answers in this but hopefully in our time of dialogue after these teachings and preachings, we will be able to engage one another and to learn from one another. And then lastly, in September, we will start uh, our last piece of this, uh, of this sermon series. All I want to be is free uh, with uh, political liberation. And you know it, friends. We all know it. We need political liberation. Can I get an amen? Because this is the reality, right? We are heading towards a, um, a, a, a presidential election that has a lot of, um, let's just say, a lot of oppressive uh, factors, uh, a lot of ancient uh, principalities. Hmm. So let, 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 let's just be honest about where we're headed and hopefully we can find some liberation um, about what it means to be people who are engaged in politics, but yet not oppressed by them. Can I get an amen to that? <laughs> so um, I am really here just to invite you to these three months, July, August, and September, to engage in this sermon series that Minister Grace and I will be leading and preaching on, but also it will be a learning experience for all of us giving us time to be able to connect with one another, converse with one another, dialogue, and, and really have a time of just engaging what it means um, to be liberated people. Because what's the point of liberation theology if it doesn't liberate us? Did you hear me? Like, what's the point of, of, of studying all of these great theologians who have put together some beautiful theology and yet it does nothing to us. You see, I hope in my prayer, in my desire, right, is that these talks, these sermons, these times of dialogue would be moments of healing and restoring and reconciling us, not only to one another, but to self and, 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 and more importantly, to the divine. And so I hope that you would join us um, by the way, you don't have to be from Calvary by the Sea to come and be part of this. Everyone's invited. You can come and listen and engage and participate as much as you want to. Um, there will be plenty of resources and books that will be coming out for us to engage with as well. So I'm excited about this. This is good. This is really good news, really exciting stuff coming. And so here we are. You know, we start a new month of July in 2024, uh, halfway through the year, right? Uh, and we get another six months to really start honing in on what it means to be liberated people. I mean, this is, this is what it's all about, friends. Uh, if we're going to be in this world, I, 
I, I pray that we would be liberated people. I mean, how else will others be liberated? <laughs> how else will others be free? Um, if the gathered people of God is those who have been called to be liberated, right? If we can't be that, if we can't embody that, if we can't live that out. Uh, I used to have a professor that would say to me, Moses, you need to smell like Jesus. <laughs> That's what he would say. And so it always kept um, in me this idea that I need to embody the divine one um, in, in the best way I can. But not so I have this like righteous thing or I'm like amazing or I'm this awesome super Christian. None of those things. But that I would embody this Jesus liberating person, right? So that others would become liberated. So that I would become liberated from all the oppressive things. And we just talked about them, right? Economics and social economics and, and also political stuff. Like it, just so that I can um, be that for myself, but also to perhaps um, help others be liberated as well. It is so good to be with you in this way. I hope you join us. Um, again, if there's anything you ever need, you could always email me at moses at calvarybythesea.org and we can connect over coffee or a meal or tea, because now that's what I do. I do tea. Uh, so, so, um, but it's all good, you know. Um, I love coffee still, by the way. But, but, but I, but yeah. But tea is my thing now. So, um, if you ever want to connect that way, let's do that. That's that's the whole point. That's why we're here. Um, and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I think there's some good things. Um, I do have uh, a few books that you can think about. Um, uh, there's a, a church called the Brown Church, that is written by uh, Roberto. Oh, uh, Chao Romero. Uh, it's a book we'll be uh, discussing. Um, also, uh, a really good book called Being Present um, that I will also provide. And uh, another book called Post Corona um, that's also been very helpful. So just a lot of different um, resources, just throwing some out of them right now uh, if you'd like to get ahead of the conversation. But um, excited Join us here at Calvary by the Sea. We're in Naina Haina. We're on the east side of Honolulu and um, right on Kanaliana Ole uh, Highway. So uh, it's, it's, it's just a great season to be together in community. Join us, um, and I hope, um, I hope you're doing well. Remember, the Divine One is happy with you. Uh, the Divine One loves you, um, welcomes you, uh, and... Um, and that's good news for us today. So much love, much love. Hope to see you soon. Okay, take care. Bye.